Thank you. Next, Your Excellency, I'd like to invite the President of the National Olympics Committee, Mr. Paul Tergat, to come and make his remarks. Mr. Paul Tergat is one who needs very little introduction, both to Kenyans and to the international world, given that he carried the Kenyan flag high for many years in the marathon field. Welcome, Paul. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the head of the members of and head of KDF. Deputy President, all protocols observed, distinguished guests, uh, good morning or afternoon. First of all, I want to say this. We are standing here today because of the pain that we are going through. Kevin was one of the very unique at least that we just had. I want to tell you this, that today, when we wake up, when we, uh, we got this information of Kevin that has left us, it was such a, not really something that I could believe myself that it has really happened. But I want to say this, it is an history that it has never happened before. I never, I went into, personally, I went into denial mode for so long. And even today, I still believe that uh, if Kevin was still around, the only thing that maybe we would be, want maybe to see is the history we was going to make going forward. We all know one thing, that sports is one of its own that is able to bring us all together uh, as a nation. I only want maybe to echo what the general has just said, that our sportsmen and women need more of support to be able to enjoy and, sub and explore more of their talents. Remember that at this time as we are heading to the Olympic Games in Paris, the only thing, and I'm requesting our sportsmen that they are going to be part and parcel of this team, that the only tribute we are going to give to our brother, our champion, our legend, Keep tomb is to make sure that we go for, when we go to Paris, every medal that we will be participating in, we make sure we get in his honor, we bring those medals. <clears throat> to the family of Keep tomb, the father, his wife, and the children, we all know we will be standing with you. We know what you are going through. It's such a painful moment. But I want to assure you that we are all together in this. As Olympic movement, especially National Olympic Committee, we are together. There are so many people in terms of even the Olympic movement. President Dr. Thomas Pa has joined in to pay his condolences to you all of you, to convey his condolences to you all, especially to the family, because what Kiptuma has done in a very short time has really touched each and everyone across the world. 
So in this regards, I want to say, Bola to their family, and I'm very proud that their old government is here to pay the last respect to this young gentleman that has left us. As we pay the last respect today for him, we say, may God bless you and rest in peace.